Sonic Unleashed was a massive turning point in the franchise. The title proved at the time to be the best looking outing for a Sonic game, and is still widely regarded by fans as the series' most beautiful work visually. Sonic would reach speeds never achieved before and kick off what would be known as the boost style of gameplay that would continue on for years to come. On top of it all was a soundtrack like no other, based around a story in which Sonic attempts to retrieve the Chaos Emeralds to rid himself of an evil entity, while also putting the scattered pieces of the planet it back together due to an Eggman plot. The soundtrack is heavily influenced by different real world countries that are lovingly given inspired levels and stages throughout the game. It's a grand scope, crafted with heart, and topped off by the main theme. This is the real me! Pretty cool, huh? Sonic the Hedgehog is no stranger to main themes with the rock edge. Following tracks such as Live and Learn from Sonic Adventure 2, His World from Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, among many others, Sonic Unleashed would need a song that fit the spirit of the new adventure while also welcoming the new age of Sonic titles. Guitarist Tomoya Otani would ultimately lay down the main melody and feel of the track, creating a bass instrumental. No lyrics, no vocals, entirely the instrumentation on its own. Musician and also Sega veteran Jun Sanoe would then seek out the artists and musicians he felt would fit the project as a whole, one of which being Jared Reddick, lead singer of the band Bowling for Soup. Reddick at the time was in Japan performing shows and was asked to come in and not only lend his vocals to the track, but to write the song itself, lyric wise. Impressed by what he had heard, Reddick wrote lyrics pertaining to the title Sonic Unleashed and sent it in, the song ultimately being named Endless Possibility. The lyrics capture the essence of the game's narrative in a strong way. It highlights Sonic's carefree yet ambitious nature, running across the world without regret, despite being unsure of what lies ahead. Though the planet has been split apart, it still continues to turn, regardless of its condition. Sonic would explore multiple continents throughout the title, while also fighting with the remnants of the game's villain, Dark Gaia, planted within him at night. Please wake me up when I get there. It feels like I'm lost in a dream. I know in my heart that it's my time, and I already see the possibilities are never ending. The song breaks down and becomes grittier near the latter half, referencing the werehog transformation Sonic endures as the moon rises. Afterwards, the track kicks back up again, representing a triumphant return to form. It not only can be interpreted as Sonic's victory against Dark Gaia and freeing himself from its hold, but also the character Chip, realizing the power he has as the opposing force to Dark Gaia and his ability to save the planet by sacrificing himself. The instrumentation is stellar and lends itself to being one of the more hard-hitting pieces in the Sonic franchise. As would eventually become standard, the melody can be heard in different forms, most notably during the final boss against Dark Gaia, in which it's wonderfully reimagined as an orchestral piece, every instrument working together to push the high stakes and importance of the world adventure that Sonic had just endured. Where did it go? At the time of this recording, the original version of Endless Possibility is strangely missing when speaking of Sonic's vocal themes. The last known time Jarrett Reddick's vocal of the song was heard in official media would have been 2011's Sonic Generations, as it appeared as one of the unlockable tracks to be played during stages. Since then, it's been noticeably absent. It's a strange timeline of events, and one that goes as follows. Published by Wavemaster, 
Planetary Pieces Sonic World Adventure, the Sonic Unleashed original soundtrack, was released as a three-disc set back in 2009, featuring 91 music tracks from the game including Endless Possibility. In 2011, Sonic Generations featured a wide variety of music tracks to be unlocked, including Endless Possibility among many others from the Sonic franchise. The soundtrack for Sonic Unleashed was re-released for the first time digitally in 2012, featuring each of the game's beautifully crafted music pieces, except for Endless Possibility. Later in 2020, Tomoya Otani confirmed via Twitter that the reason Endless Possibility specifically was unavailable through streaming services was a rights issue regarding the original track. During the 30th anniversary Sonic Symphony Orchestra show, Endless Possibility would receive a new arrangement by Tomoya Otani's band and be covered by artist Nathan Sharp. Then, in 2022's Sonic Frontiers, through the Jukebox update, allowing players to select and play various music from Sonic's history such as Live and Learn, Open Your Heart, Reach for the Stars, and more, Endless Possibility was mysteriously and quietly omitted. Jarrett Reddick then also responded to a fan question via his TikTok page in 2023 about the making of the track, with the Nathan Sharp cover being played in the background. You know, I think there's a lot of Sonic fans out there and it's really cool for me now because you know the Sonic movies are so huge right now and, and, and for me to be able to say that I've done some stuff with the franchise is, is uh, it's just one of those things that you're just like man this is I can't believe I did this but uh, very proud of that one. Nothing has been outright confirmed so please refrain from spreading anything as fact but it's been speculated that the issue regarding the original song is due to writing credits. Despite both Reddick and Otani having great fondness for the track and its making to this day, Otani even going on to place it as his favorite song he's worked on for the franchise, it's possible that the issues lie higher up, outside of both musicians' hands. As of 2023, the only official ways of hearing the original version of this theme are through the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii, and PlayStation 2 releases of Sonic Unleashed, the original release of the Planetary Pieces Sonic World Adventure soundtrack from back in 2009, and by selecting the track in 2011's Sonic Generations. Otherwise, the version created for the Sonic Symphony 30th Anniversary show is available for streaming digitally. Whether or not the original version will ever return, we thank Jarrett Reddick, Eric Chandler, Tomoya Otani, Jun Sonoe, and everyone involved for creating a lasting music piece that reverberates its importance in the legacy of Sonic the Hedgehog. The possibilities truly are never ending. Alicia, Andrew, Brandon, Caroline, Disney Captain, Donnie, Emilia, Gwen, Helen, Ian, Jake, Junior the Hedgehog, Common J, Matthew, Megley, Mia T. Toon, our friend Barney, Samuel. Thank you to all of my Rainbow Line passengers. See you.